the worms. Now, you have got a new job for the UN, and your job is to make sure that the world doesn't get out of control. It's Christmas Eve, and your boss has came to you, and your boss has said, North Korea may have misplaced a missile. Can you go over there, have a chat to them, and try and get them to sort it out? You have two options. You can tell your boss, Hell no, it's Christmas Eve, I'm going to spend it with my family. Or you can go, How yeah, I get my Captain America suit, suit up and do that G.I. Joe thing and go discuss nuclear policies with Kim Jong-un. What do you choose? Bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the book Choose Your Own Apocalypse with Kim Jong-un and Friends by Rob Sears. That intro we give is basically the story pretense and you have to choose your own adventure just like how you used to do back in the day at school. Choose to stay home. Turn to one page, decide to actually take the mission on and cruise across, or fly across to North Korea, turn to another page. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I am going to do, I'm, I don't even know I'm going to review it. I'm just going to tell you what happened as we go along. Some bookworms. I'm about to read the book. Here goes. Choose your own apocalypse. Kim Jong-un and Friends by Rob Sears. Let's go! Okay, I've just read story one. Well, I say story one, I went through it the first time. I ended up in the story, got an off career, finding that the missile that's misplaced is an actual nuke. I met the Supreme Leader himself, decided that the best course of action is to shoot that nuke out of the sky and I chose because I am Captain USA I'm gonna do that bad boy myself. Up to the fight plane, showed off to the people of North Korea how badass I am flying a plane, went to destroy the rocket but it was too late. <laughs> the rocket blew my ship up well my aeroplane and blew up the rest of the world as well. Oh, damn. Okay, back. Story two. So, at the very start, you have the option to either go to North Korea or go home. I decided, no, I'm going to go home. Yeah. Don't say no. No is the wrong answer. Don't say no. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I read it again. Story number three. Basically... I decided, yeah, to go to North Korea, met the Supreme Leader. Hey, I laughed at some of his jokes. Best part of the trip, though, I met his sister. Yeah, she I, I think she was flirting with me because we snuck off and had a little private rendezvous. I mean, it wasn't and all that. It was like business, but it was just her and me, you know, like it was private. She was digging me, I could tell. Anywho, decided this time won't actually, you know, fire and get in an aeroplane and try and resolve the issue myself. I enlisted the great USA to evacuate instead because this missile is coming down. That didn't happen because, uh, our government decided that uh, a nuke coming down on them was the act of terrorism. And so uh, may have started a nuclear war. <laughs> I story four, this is getting crazy. So story four, it's not the same. Went to North Korea. I met the sister, right? Met the sister, but I don't think we flirted that much this time. Decided to shoot down the nukes myself. And you know what? I managed to come back to the USA. I got 
damn hero. Yeah, it was. God damn it. Got a promotion. However, on the way to the promotion, got a side mission. Decided to take that side mission. Met Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, did. And Elon Musk doing some crazy stuff. He cloned in robots. Anywho, Elon Musk made a killer drill, which basically caved under the earth, sort of like the Incredibles 2 movie or the end of Incredible 1, where the miner comes out. He's like, I am the miner. I'm guessing he made some sort of drill like that. Ran by AI, basically drilled to the earth's core. Stuffed us all up. Thanks, Elon. So, bookworms, <laughs> that was a breakdown of all the stories I seem to have got the four times I tried to read Choose Your Own Apocalypse with Kim Jong-un and friends. This book, it's a lot of fun, but it's one of these books that, for a laugh, would be cool to have, but in saying that, it hasn't completely blown me away. So it won't be going onto my bookshelf. But I will say, like, just the novelty of it is quite funny. And the laughter I got with all the four stories, and some of them, it got a bit repetitive, especially by the fourth one I had done some stuff that I had done in the previous stories. And even trying to read the stories without actually recording what actually went on, it did get pretty repetitive because the options are very limited in relation to choose this or choose that. Go to this page, go to that page. And I found that some of the pages I was going to, I'd actually read based on other options that were taken. So all the stories somewhat intertwined. But hey, for a good old laugh and a lovely weekend, it was fun. So that was Choose Your Own Apocalypse with Kim Jong-un and Friends by Rob Sears. I didn't get to meet Putin or Trump, but did manage to meet the Supreme Leader, flirt with his sister, meet Elon Musk, meet some AI robots, start a nuclear war. So, pretty good weekend, in, in all honesty. So, bookworms, as one book closes, another book has to open, and it is now time to find out what the next Read for the Weekend Readers Book Club is. And bookworms, as we are in the festive season, we are reading a Christmas book. Yes, we are reading A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. Shout out to my book guy, Brian. He managed to get me this because he was like, you're reading Matt Haig, give this a whirl. So, A Boy Called Christmas... By Matt Haig, that is the festive season Christmas read for this year. You are the next read. As always, bookworms, you can feel free to engage with us. Uh, we've got socials. Socials are Instagram Goodreads, Weekend Readers Book Club. We've also got YouTube and you know, podcast providers to get the podcast under the name The Weekend Readers. A bit more relaxed episode in relation to the book review. Choose Your Own Apocalypse by Rob Sears. I mean, it is what it is. It's not a novel. It's not a book that you, you read hard out. It's something you just go into having a light, light-hearted bit of fun. I mean, if you're going to be easily triggered, probably not for you. But in saying that, was enjoyable. So with that being said, thank you all again for joining us. And bookworms, happy reading.